Got a lot of great comments on my last Flat Earther video, and I just had to share some of them with you. A few caveats before we get started. This is for fun. Don't expect any deep philosophical or scientific answers. Mostly just my genuine laughter and keck fuel. Although if I have a non-piss take answer, I may chuck that in because I'm such a nice guy. If you are a flat earther, maybe try to take yourself a little less seriously. If you weren't so butthurt all the time, we wouldn't find you so funny. Most of these will be the first comment in a thread only, even though some of them do go on a bit. If I did everything, I would be here all frigging day and I got other shit to do. Also, I have made some responses in these comments, so I will try to answer differently or elaborate on previous points. Ultimately, this is all in the name of fun, and if you can't have a laugh at your own expense, well, you must be fun at parties. With all that out of the way, go Team Flatard! First up, John Schizzledelik. I am never going to be able to pronounce that. Holy shit! Did Sir Six say that gravity can be measured and proven? Can he please direct me to the place that I can see this proof? Or am I just supposed to believe it because he stated it? Kinda like what our current experts expect. Experts don't expect you to believe anything they actually don't tend to care. What they might expect you to do when you say you think they are wrong is perhaps have some rudimentary understanding of what it is they are talking about. If you did that, you might not sound so silly. Also, you can actually test gravity for yourself. The Schillerhallian experiment, I probably fucked that up as well, was done over 200 years ago and I'm going to painfully oversimplify this, I'm sure, but to my understanding requires the use of a pendulum and some method of measuring the angle of it. And then testing it with and without a mountain next to it. The mass of the mountain will alter the angle of the pendulum toward it. Pretty cool. Another one from John. How is one to comprehend something that does not exist? Gravity. Like I said, you can test it. And I ask you, if gravity doesn't exist, what force is keeping you from flying into space when you jump into the air? This one from Mike. Did you need 11 minutes to make a bunch of three second vid bites? Did you say you could prove the globe Earth by putting a gyro in that aeroplane? Of course not. Did you reference an experiment that would prove the gravitational force by measuring the attraction between two mass bodies? Of course not. The only redeeming feature is that you did not show your face. I'm not even sure if this cunt is a flatard, but he was such a cunt that I had to put him in. I didn't have to do that in my video as I was taking the piss out of a man who made the exact same argument twice, somehow thinking that restating something ridiculously absurd was somehow irrefutable proof. If he had actually made some claims with beef to them, then perhaps I would have gone into it, but quite frankly, I was just really disappointed that he hadn't come up with something new. This is from Dutch Style Blacker DS1. Great name. Gravity's not a fact, just a theory. And how would you define theory? Because in science, a scientific theory is the highest form of proof you can get. Essentially, if something is a theory in science, it absolutely is a fact, backed up by mountains and mountains of evidence that overwhelmingly supports it. Perhaps you should learn what things mean before saying something stupid in my channel comments. Kiss kiss. This is from tim 27 Sisyphists one You are a fucking idiot! Your video is what is really embarrassing, and that voice, lol. Bet you're a bald, lanky, minging little virgin cunt. Gravity? Yeah, right. Have you got unicorns and leprechauns as well? Mate, it's 2017. People are starting to wake up and laugh at globeheads. You sad fucking pricks. Guess you're off to the bottom with the sinking ship. Maybe you can explain how we've been to the moon and how we're off to Mars, yet can't fucking get private space travel, despite unlimited funding. Virgin Galactic. Maybe you could show us how SpaceX is legit. My cat fucking sees it's all just bad CGI. Yet yeah, you're a fucking hero now, making fun out of someone who actually still makes more sense of what he's trying to present than your acne-covered fucking ass. Get fucked, mate. 
bad, bad chill. You reek of pure fucking crap, mate. Well, there's a lot to dissect there, isn't there? Okay, so, you're a fucking idiot. Your comment is what is really embarrassing, and that voice, lol, bet you're a bald, lanky, minging little virgin cunt. Nice ad homonyms, mate. I guess I must be wrong because you insulted me so much. <laughs> gravity, yeah right, have you got unicorns and leprechauns as well? Well, I can prove gravity exists by dropping a pen on the floor. Those things, not so much. Mate, it's 2017. People are starting to wake up and laugh at you globeheads, you sad fucking pricks. It's current year, is it? Well, I'm convinced. And globeheads is a rubbish insult compared to Flatard. Guess you're off to the bottom with the sinking ship. Maybe you can explain how we've been to the moon and how we're off to Mars yet can't fucking get private space travel. Despite unlimited funding, Virgin Galactic, maybe you can show us how SpaceX is legit. My fucking cat can see it's just bad CGI. Have you ever heard the term, it's not exactly rocket science? Rocket science is hard. Perhaps if you understood some of the fundamentals of physics, you wouldn't need to ask. Also, your cat smells. Yet you're a fucking hero, now making fun out of someone who actually still makes more sense of what he's trying to present than your acne-covered fucking ass. A hero. See, it's this kind of bizarre emotive language that makes you people so fucking funny. I don't consider myself super smart or what I'm doing to be particularly out there or amazing. But you do for yourself. So it's pure projection. I think I'm amazing and smart, so when someone says I'm wrong, they must think they are better than me. I actually don't. I think your opinions are hilariously misinformed, but that doesn't make you a bad person, just a silly one. Get fucked, mate. Bad, bad shill. You reek of pure fucking crap, mate. I wish I was a shill. Unfortunately, all I'm getting right now is some of the money off of my amazing patrons, thanks again, who don't ask me to do anything specific, they certainly didn't ask for these kinds of vids, and some AdSense. Nope, as amazing as this may seem to you, most people actually come to these conclusions on their own after, you know, getting a first year education. This is from Shannon Lane. Instead of taking the time simply making fun of what you don't understand, Try actually providing an intelligent argument to the contrary. I will agree that the dude with the plane is boring and a poor spokesperson for the flat earth. But in his defence, you are equally as boring and extremely childish as well. Maybe you should smell your own farts, poopy bumhead. I'll do whatever the hell I want and you can kiss my ass. John Desso too says... Neil deGrasse Treason said... We can explain what gravity does, but we can't explain what it is. You know why? Because it's fake and doesn't exist. Gravity is the magical force made up to fix the biggest lie ever. The spinning globe! Many exclamation marks. You debunked nothing here, dumbass. You just prove how dumb and brainwashed you are. Well, for starters, what one popular scientist says is irrelevant. And he did say that in response to the question, what is gravity? That's like asking, what is kinetic? Asking, what is X force? Well, it's a force. You describe those things by what they do, not what they quote unquote are. Also, I have to ask, what is the benefit to lying about a globe when so much of our technology requires the world and physics to be a particular way? Why would anyone want to lie about it? It doesn't make any sense. Mike Levine says, Just to exercise, go out yourself and prove gravity in relation to density and buoyancy. These things you have to do yourself or else it's mute. Uh, yeah. Richard Coxworthy asks, Right, so instead of doing five seconds of research on the real truth of flat earth, you spend hours making a shill video about insulting other people's honest research and curiosity. Either you have been so brainwashed you can't think critically, or you have an agenda. No normal person would go out of their way unless they were a shill. Oh, and post some proofs about gravity, please. We are waiting for the evidence of gravity. You could be the next crackpot shill making stuff up about things that have never been measured. 
which includes gravity. There's that shill word again. And honest research. Motherfucker sat there with the globe playing with toys. If that's your standard for research, I would like to make an application for a grant from your lot scientific institution. If you pay me a bunch of money, I will buy some Hot Wheels and a football. And I'm not sure what I'd be trying to prove, but I reckon I could hit the ball with the cars and it'd look kind of cool. Normal people make fun of people's ideas all the time. It has nothing to do with money. What if I said this? No normal person would make a flat earth video unless they were being paid. It's a conspiracy from the flat earth industrial complex, yada yada. See how that works? Perhaps if you spent more time in school and less time dismissing everybody as a shill, you wouldn't sound so fucking dumb. RGT Hypothenosis says, Gravity is theory, not fact. You say belief is counterproductive, lol. Is your belief gravity exists when is no scientist say gravity is a fact? Scientists aren't in the business of fact. Fact and truth and other such ultimate statements have no place in science because our understanding of the universe changes a little bit every day. I don't believe in gravity the same way I don't believe I'm sat at a desk making a video. These things just are. And at least in gravity's case, we come up with ways of measuring and defining what those things mean to the best of our abilities. Jimmy's 69 finishes up with... Wow! Dude, you sound really perfect! Nothing you said is logically. You are a parrot who doesn't understand physics or have any common sense. You parrot gravity to try and disprove logic and common sense. Your followers who can't think for themselves will listen to you parrot bullshit because it makes mental midgets feel smart. Try doing science instead of talking about it. In case you and your mental midget commenters need a refresher, science is testing and experimenting. So if you can't test it, it's not fucking science. I have been debating Flat Earth for 22 months and realise you are not intelligent enough to understand what you believe. So I will leave it at that. Planes, no matter where they are on the globe, are all the right side up because of gravity. Wow, you must be a genius. Bring a formula or equation to a judge to prove gravity or a homicide. Let me know how that works out for you. You may want to check your municipal water source for fluoride. But wait, let me guess. That stuff is good for your teeth. Ha 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 Another one of these. Great, okay. Wow, dude, you sound really pathetic. Nothing you said is logically. <laughs> you are parrot who doesn't understand physics or have any common sense. You parrot gravity to try and disprove logic and common sense. <laughs> Oh, I love the grammar and I, I love the uh, the wordings. I don't parrot anything. My understanding of gravity comes from my understanding of the physics involved. Common sense is all well and good, but it only gets you so far. Common sense tells us the sun revolves around the earth. Common sense tells us that flies spontaneously appear on dead things. Common sense can only take us so far without tools to measure things we can't perceive with our own flawed senses. Your followers who can't think for themselves will listen to you parrot bullshit because it makes mental midget feel smart. You're all dumb cunts, audience, because Captain Anus Brain here says so. Try doing science instead of talking about it in case you and your mental midget commentators need a refresher. Science is testing and experimenting, so if you can't test it, it's not fucking science. Oh good, well since we can test gravity, you can fuck off then. <laughs> I have been debating flat earth for 22 months and realise you are not intelligent enough to understand what you believe, so I will leave it at that. Well, considering I don't really believe anything, I'm not intelligent enough to believe what I don't believe. Smart. Also, you've been doing this for 22 months, I don't know why, but that's really, really funny to me. <laughs> Planes, no matter where they are on a globe, are all the right side up because gravity, wow, you must be a genius. Bring a formula or equation to a judge to prove gravity or a homicide. Listen, Tamas, just because you don't understand something doesn't mean that everyone else is stupid. You really need to think about that. Let me know how that works out for you. You may want to check your municipal water source for fluoride, but wait, let me guess, that stuff is good for your teeth. Ha 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 ha. 
And let me guess, you think they use it to control us somehow because magic reasons, I'm sure. That's the main ones, but I saw this one in the comments and I just couldn't let it sit in obscurity because it was so fucking funny to me. Uh, Henry Pendle says, You just mocked the guy, yet you didn't prove any proof that we live in a ball earth. Responded to by Alec Mullaney. Henry, that is the worst haiku I've ever read. I don't know why. That just made me piss my pants laughing. You might think, what the fuck's wrong with you, sick? That was stupid. I liked it. Go fuck yourself. But that was a few of the delightful, angry and smug comments I got from people who don't understand gravity for the most part, or even at all. Funniest shit I've read in a long time. Here's hoping for a few more golden projection comments from people who haven't watched or understood this video either. I will see you all later.